Guk ganjang, Korean, guganjang or soup soy sauce is a type of Korean soy sauce ganjang, made entirely of fermented soybean, meja, and brine. It is also a byproduct of doenjang production. Both lighter in color and saltier than other Korean ganjang varieties, soup soy sauce is used mainly in guk soup, and namel, a seasoned vegetable dish, in modern Korean cuisine. Names Soup soy sauce is referred to by many different names. In the English-speaking world, it is most commonly known as soup soy sauce, which is a direct translation of guk ganjang. The name soup soy sauce is used because it is used mainly for soup guk in modern Korean cuisine. Also, it is the name used by many popular soy sauce brands such as Sempio, Daesong, S. Chung Young Won, and C. J. Child Jedang. S. Bexel. Other names for the sauce include Hansik Ganjang. Hansik Korean style soy sauce is a name used by the Korean Ministry of Food and Drug Safety. Jaresik Ganjang. Jaylesik traditional soy sauce is a name used for soup soy sauce when compared to Gaoryang Ganjang. Gaoryang modernized soy sauce, which is now the most widely used and considered regular type of soy sauce in modern Korean cuisine. Joseon ganjang Joseon soy sauce is a name used for soup soy sauce, when compared to Wae ganjang Wae soy sauce. The term Wae soy sauce is used to refer to modernized Gaoryang ganjang, which was introduced to Korea during the era of Japanese forced occupation. Jip ganjang, home soy sauce, is a name used for home brewed soup soy sauce. History The earliest soy sauce brewing in Korea seems to have begun prior to the era of the Three Kingdoms. The Records of the Three Kingdoms, a Chinese historical text written and published in the 3rd century, mentions that, Goguryeo people are good at brewing fermented soy beans. In the section called Dong Yi, Eastern Foreigners, in the Book of Wei. Jangdoks used for soy sauce brewing are found in the mural paintings of Anak Tomb No. 3 from 4th century Goguryeo. In Samguk Sagi, a historical record of the Three Kingdoms era, it is mentioned that Ganjang and Dinjang, along with Meja and Jetgal, were prepared for the wedding ceremony of King Sinmun in February 683. Sikwa Ji, a section from Goryosa, History of Goryeo, recorded that Ganjang and Dinjang were included in the relief supplies in 1018, after a Khitan invasion, and in 1052, when a famine occurred. Joseon texts such as Guwankwario and Jumbo Salim Jongjae contain detailed procedures on how to brew good quality Ganjang and Dinjang. Yuhok Chongseo explains how to pick a date for brewing, what to forbear, and how to keep and preserve Ganjang and Dinjang. Production Soup soy sauce is made entirely of fermented soybeans and brine. The brewing process also produces doenjang, a Korean fermented bean paste. Meja, Korean soybean brick, is made around Ipdong in early November. Soybeans are soaked overnight, boiled in salt water, and then pounded in a mortar, jelgu, or coarsely ground with a millstone. About a dough, approximately equals 1.8 liters, or two of pounded soybeans are chunked, compressed, and shaped into a cube or a sphere called meja. The meja bricks are then dried in a cool, shaded area for a week to several weeks until firm. When the bricks harden, they are tied with rice straws to the eaves of the house, or put in a warm andal room with rice straw, to ferment. In Jungwul, the first month of the lunar year, well-fermented meja bricks are washed and sun-dried. After drying, the meja bricks are aged in ongji crocs jangdik, with brine. Charcoal and chilies are added for their adsorbent and antibacterial properties, as well as folk religious beliefs that they drive away evil spirits. As the fermentation progresses, the brine acquires flavor and color. This aged brine is boiled to become soy sauce, and the rest aged meja chunks, is mashed to become soybean paste. Types the Korean Ministry of Food and Drug Safety's Food Code classifies Hansik Ganjang into two categories by their ingredients Jere Hansik Ganjang. 
A traditional Korean style soy sauce. Soy sauce made with traditional style meja and brine. Dair Young Hansik Ganjang. Modernized Korean style soy sauce. Soy sauce made with non traditional meja, which can be made of regular soybean, rice, barley, wheat, or degreased soybean, and ripened using traditional method or aspergillus and saline solution. Depending on the length of aging, Hansik ganjang can be divided into three main varieties clear, middle, and dark. Hat ganjang. New soy sauce. Soy sauce aged for a year. Also called chongjang. Chongjang ching. Clear soy sauce. Young ganjang. Middle soy sauce. Soy sauce aged for three to four years. Jin ganjang. Jinganjang jin gan. Dark soy sauce. Soy sauce aged for more than five years. Also called jinjang. Jinjang shane. Aged soy sauce. Nongjang. Nongjang nong. Thick soy sauce. Or jingamjang. Jingamjang jen gan. Aged mature soy sauce. See also Dark soy sauce Sweet soy sauce References, <references>